What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the THC Temple. And check this out, man, because today we're going to be talking about one of my least favorite drugs. And when I say least favorite, because I've only taken the things once, but even when I say that is because, like, I never really even liked what they did to people. Like, even looking at people that take Xanax and shit like that, I never liked, you know, it, well, recreationally, because there's a lot of people out there, you know, you might got a uh, that high anxiety and you may be using it actually medically you know using it how it's supposed to be going but if you're chewing up things like m&ms and skittles and cheap keeping them boys then it's a whole different uh type of scenario but that's my whole thing like i said i've never seen anyone like they've been having a bad like they're at the party and they pop some zannies and they have a greater time like things turn out to be better if anything they end up like needing to get babysat or they just they walk around looking all crazy in the eyes so either way i'm gonna tell my story of first time i tried the motherfuckers and just a couple of stories of my other friends, you know, like fucking just, you know, being jackasses on the shit. One, uh, either way, there was one time, one of my buddies, he popped like two bars and took like seven, eight shots or some, either way, we're talk, we'll talk about that after we talk about my boring little story here. So either way, like I said, I was hanging out with one of my buddies of mine and you know, she was like, yo, let her go pop a zanny tonight. I said, okay, you know, let me try it out. Let me see what all the hubbub's about, right? So, you know, we both had uh, two milligrams Xanax. And, you know, she was like, yeah, you know, she had hers. I had mine. I said, bam, all right, let's get it. Yeah, let's go to the zanny family, like Future says. I hate Future. He makes all these bad drugs sound great and awesome. Either way, fucking, she took a whole one. You know, I cracked mine in half. I threw it down. You know, I'm going to, this is the first time I'm taking some. You know, the first time you take some, whether it's weed, I don't care what it is, a, a fucking cigarette. You know, you always go in light, you know, you just don't go in to some brownies and just shove them all down or just, like, start out smoking wax and you just put a whole fucking worm on the goddamn dabber. You gotta motherfucking take it easy, you know what I'm saying? So I took half of mine, shit took a whole one. So, like, fucking 45 minutes later, I'm taking my other one then and she was like, you know, she's still there. She's, like, not crazy. She was asking me, actually, if I had took my other one because she wanted to take my other half. I'm like, uh-uh, uh -huh. pop, pop, pop. I took mine. And so I'm chilling. Like I said, we were playing the game, and then we actually started smoking some bowls. So we smoking them bowls of that high grade marijuana, and things didn't go right for her. So basically, let me hit this bowl, man, and I'm gonna tell you how that went. So we probably <coughs> smoked a few bowls right there, you know, like probably like 0 0.8, 0 0.9, not even a gram probably, you know, probably a gram between the two of us, like between 20, 25 minutes. And during the end of that bowl session, we're also playing Call of Duty. We're playing the OG Call of Duty too, Black Ops 1 on the Xbox One, you know, so they put it back, remastered or whatever. We're sitting there playing the game. And I, I don't know if we went to YouTube or Netflix or one of them bitches because as we were hitting them bowls, she just started getting Lucy and Lucy and Goosey all over the place. And that's like, like I said, that's the only thing I really see people. That's a successful Xanax high. Like I don't see people taking a Xanax to actually just, oh yeah, man, I need to calm myself down or you know, like like I said, unless they're you know actually take they're prescribed it. If it's recreational and they popping Xanax, is they trying to get zombified? And that's what she was basically going. She. <laughs> and she was just like loosey goosey and floosey for like 15 minutes and then she literally passed out like she just knocked out on the bed she just bill cosby herself like basically the fucking bitch she fucking like she was like almost falling off the bed and shit i was sitting there like i said i'm playing the game i was literally chill i took like basically i took one half and then i took the other one i was kind of just really not even to say really calm because it wasn't like i was calmer than i uh, than i than I am, you know, normally, so that's why I say Xanax isn't really worth it, because I didn't feel much, you know what I'm saying, I didn't feel anything that makes me like, oh yeah, I need that Xanax, man, it's really not worth it, especially, you know, with the effects that it has of taking them, you know, long term, you know, I don't really see the point of it, you know, it's too habit forming to keep on popping those things just to feel ultra relaxed, you know, and then, you know, if I actually do want to get high, I'm probably going to have to take like two or one and a half or something crazy, you know, I'm going to have to go over the limit, I'm going to have to, you know, go crazy, so it's not really worth it to me, but either way, like I said, she was all zombie, and then another time with her same chick, fucking, we were hanging out at a, a, a not even a party, it was like a little get together, and one of our homies, like one of the dudes that you know, kind of, no, either way, put this way, man, we, like I said, we went this kickback, and we were smoking some blunts, chilling, hanging out, you know what I'm saying, and one of the homies said, hey, man, 
I got these two pieces of pill in my pocket, like, you know, like a crush, like, I don't know, you know, I get, cause he pops pills, you know, he takes his shit, and he said, man, I got two crushed up pills in my pocket, and she was like, oh shit, swipe, she just, I mean, like I said, this bitch, I don't know why she likes Bill Cosby on herself, but she just, whoop, grabbed him up and did a thing, and then, like, we were also drinking that night, so she was, you know, like, I didn't see, look, I learned my lessons from do other times before, not even other times before, just, you know, seeing other people and doing other things and making mistakes that you don't want to make again, you know, you learn to have your moderation. Man, she, like I said, she swiped up two pieces of his annex, like half of his annex, threw it down, taking them shots, and she didn't even, she took like, she probably took like two shots and drank a beer, and she was fucking, like I said, she was doing front flips and back flips and all types of shit. I ain't never seen nobody build Cosby and stuff like that, but she is one of them. So, she, and like I said, to this day, she didn't remember those nights. But either way, I had a homie. Like I said, the seven shots guy. Man, I don't know what happened, because we, I went over to the house, you know what I'm saying? We were, had, we were smoking some pot, you know what I'm saying? We were just smoking some kush. And then next thing you know, he just bust out the pills. He's like, yo, Larry, make you want a Xanax? I'm like... No, nah, man, I'm pretty cool right now. I, I actually told him because he was going to give me half his Xanax. I said, no, nah, man, because I got to drive. Because I did actually have to drive, you know, boom, boom, wow, wow. I really wasn't that into the Xanax or like that. Either way, so he said, man, fuck, I, like, I told him, like I said, I told him to save it for later, you know, after we get back. He said, man, fuck it. Well, he just, you know, chewed it up and fucking threw the other one down. He threw like one and a half down at that time. And then this man literally, look, I don't know why, but this, these they had a fucking half gallon of liquor. This man was just pulling himself up shots. He was like, like I said, just Bill Cosby and himself. Like he wasn't giving himself time to digest even when he just chewed up. He was just taking shots back to back. And this is a man who really doesn't, I haven't, I don't see the man drink like that. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't shot at the shot at the shot. It's like he had a goal this night and his goal was to get mega blow. And pretty much, like I said, shot at the shot. And, on his fourth shot, like I said, I'm looking at him with eyes emoji now. I'm getting, I'm starting to get worried, you know. At first, you know, okay, you, know, you do what you want to do, but damn, dude. And like I said, at his fifth shot, you know, he already kind of stumbling and wumbling, pulling up more shots. So you know, at one point, you know, I stopped him, you know, like at round number six. I was like, yo, man, you're going to be, you going to be fucked up. Like, you're going to be throwing up and dead. You're going to be, either way, you know, you're, the next day, you're probably going to be feeling some bad effects that you ain't want to feel. So, you know what I'm saying? That kind of got to him. He threw the shot down he put it down then like five minutes later i think he went back and threw it back but either way fucking this man like i said i was sitting down you know we were chilling hanging out and this man was looking at me like he was looking at me from the side of my face he was like oh shit larry got two ears now at first like when i was hearing that because i was talking to somebody else i was like man this man is fucked up we all got two ears my brother but then fucking you know i was noticing you know he was looking at me from one side and he was talking about I got two ears. And it was funny because, like, fucking, he was listening to 50 Cent. Like, we had In the Club on. He was like, Shawty in the Club. Like, he, you know, he'd be falling behind in the lyrics. They'd catch up real quick. And it was just the silliest thing I ever seen. Like I said, man, it was probably a party or fun going on in his head. But this, like I said, the whole zombified effect and all that shit of the Xanax, I don't get it. So, either of you guys, man, you know, some of you folks down there probably like, yeah, man, I pop like five Xans a day. I be cool and I be coasting. I don't know, you know, so I don't know what it is and I don't know, you know what I'm saying, the whole what, what the good. I don't know. I don't know, man. Put it this way, man. Just be careful, y'all, because that's some, that's some, that's some old bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's, some, that's one of them drugs. Like I said, it's drugs that. You know, you see people, you know, and they do it and, you know, they have fun. Heroin. <laughs> you don't see people do heroin and have a good time after that. You know, they're just really fucked up. They feel really good. Like Xanax and those drugs, they make you feel really good. But, I mean, what's the point of just feeling really good and then, like I said, you get addicted and you get all types of other shit, you know, you know withdrawals and you, 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 either way, especially if something, like I said, there is a thing of something being too good, you know what I'm saying, if something's too good, you might want to pull back, like alcohol, if al you know, alcohol is pretty good, you know, you take you some shots, but put it this way, you take you about 15, 20 shots, yeah, you, it's gonna be, a, you ain't feeling really good at some point, you know, yeah, you're gonna be feeling amazing and then it's that shit gonna rocket climb, rocket climb, I don't know what that is, either way, man, put it this way. I love y'all, man, and Xanax is terrible, so stay away from those things, but anyway, all that other shit, I don't know, have a ball, I guess, you know, you know what, keep your body clean, stop doing drugs, don't even smoke weed, I'm about to start smoking weed, y'all, I'm, I'm about to start smoking goddamn 
K2. What about that spice? Y'all want to start smoking spice? That synthetic shit. That's that. Now that's the devil. I don't know who, why they would do that. Oh yeah, because the government doesn't really care about this. Either way, man, I'm out of here, y'all. Before they shut me down, conspiracy temple.